right, so you want to know what gaming is like while living abroad, living outside your country as a digital nomad, just outside the United States, and let's say you're just a traveling person, you like to game on the side, and this is what you just like to do. I'm going to just tell you from my personal experience, me personally, I'm just a, I like to say a competitive casual gamer, and that's like a person who likes to compete to win, but at the end of the day, you're not a, I'm not a professional. I do stream on Twitch, link in bio, but that's just about it. I like to have fun with my friends. I'm somebody like that. Maybe you're just like that. You like to play video games. It's just something you like to do. It's, just, it's just how you get your competitive nature out. And I want I want to be honest that you can get that same experience as a gamer living outside the country. The same experience you get back home playing video games you can get living outside whatever country you're from. I'm from the United States, but just outside the U.S. you get the same, basically the same gaming experience to an extent. But it's basically the same, especially if you're someone who's casual, just likes to play with friends. But this all varies. Me personally, I play on PlayStation. I play video games like Call of Duty, NBA 2K, FIFA, Madden, basic video games. You know, the typical video games that the, the guys like to play. I'm not necessarily a PC player. I like to play from time to time. I like to have fun just with my daily life. But then whenever I want to sit back and play a video game, I like to, you know, do that whenever I want to. But typically it's with my friends, that's who I like to play with, somebody like that. And I'll, I'll let you know right now, as far as just playing with my friends and getting that online experience, I, I enjoy it here. It doesn't matter where, where I am in the country where I've traveled to either in the past. There was one country, I think, when I was in Asia, but I think that's because I was on a different server. So some challenges you may get while gaming outside of your country is you may have a server issue. And, you know, you may, let's say you're playing NBA 2K and your friends are from New York, but you're all the way in Asia. And this can become an issue for you because you may not be able to connect to their servers specifically because you're in two different parts of the country and in order for you to play together you need to be in the same server whether they're an asia server with you or you're on the northeast of the united states server with them and in order and this always has a simple fix all you have to do is you know set up a vpn through you whatever internet provider you have wherever you're at and you can connect easily me personally if i had a situation like that i'm in Colombia. i don't have these situations because I have my own internet connection set up, my own apartment, and I'm in Colombia, and it's basically like we play with the people in Miami, the East Coast, New York, yeah, it really has no issue. You know, we're all part of that same time zone. Our time zones, I think, are maybe like one hour behind or either the same time in the, as New York. But let's say if you're in a country like Asia, you may, you're like 10, 12 hours ahead. If I'm not mistaken, you're 10 hours ahead or behind. And this can be a problem because you're in two different servers. So for to fix something like this, you just want to connect to a VPN and you'll be able to play with whoever you want to play with. Just sign up for a VPN provider and apply it to your system. You can easily YouTube how to do this and it's an easy fix. As far as internet connection goes, speeds. A lot of countries, without a doubt, provide the same internet speed you probably can get in first world country like the United States. You know, that 600 megas plus in some places you know, you can get it, you can find it. All you have to do is go on the internet, apply, or whenever you're booking your Airbnb, wherever you live or wherever you stay, just ask them to upgrade it. It's not really that hard. So with this speed internet speeds, most most gaming doesn't need that fast internet speed, but if you want faster internet speeds, you can get it. You can acquire it in different countries. I have 600 megas here. Yeah, that's all I really need to play video games like FIFA, Call of Duty, 2K, and I'm in Colombia. It's a third world country, no different no different in what most people have as opposed to the United States. They don't really they have the, basically the same internet speed. You won't really find that many Americans with 600 megas. Some other challenges you may have to deal with while being abroad is, let's say you want to buy a gaming, like a new controller. Depending on the country you're in, I think like here in Colombia, electronics are a little bit more expensive. So if you don't have your controller ready, you need to buy something new electronic wise, like, depending on the country. I'm pretty sure in Asia, a country like Asia, electronics are far way cheaper. So that's that's a little thing that you just should, would want to know before, you know, gaming outside the country or picking the country you want to actually be in. Because some countries, you know, importation costs, cost way more than others, and it, it, it causes the cost of like electronics vehicles to go up. So you, you want to consider that wherever you decide to live or wherever if you ever want to think about just being a gamer and living overseas at the same time. Okay, personally for me, I've never been a person who's been interested in like, 
gaming with strangers too much unless they're maybe like a viewer on my Twitch streams or you know maybe they're a friend of a friend. I personally don't like gaming with strangers, but if you are somebody who's interested in like gaming communities, all of every country has a gaming community. Gaming is so popular. Gaming is about to be in the Olympics in 2028. So finding a gaming community in any country is not impossible. All you do is go on Facebook groups, go on YouTube, go on Twitter, go on Twitch, anything, and just search it up. Gaming communities. Pretty sure you'll find a Facebook group, and there's a couple apps out there for people who just want to game with strangers online. You can connect just as easily as you can connect with them. They may speak a different languages language, so if you do speak English, it may be a little bit harder. But if you want to find people who just play video games with, and you don't care about the language barrier while you're gaming with them, strangers, friends, it's not that hard. And at the same time, you get to learn a new language and develop, and get to speak to different people and communicate in that way. So it's not that it's not that terrible at the same time. It won't be the worst thing in the world for you to game with strangers and they speak a different languages. There's a hell of a lot of an online communities. The gaming industry, the gaming industry is so huge. It's really not that many problems. It's almost the same as gaming in America. It's just in a different country. Uh, so what's a gaming setup like? For me personally, I've been living here for like over a year now. So I, over time, I've bought these things. But if you're somebody just traveling, you know, maybe you're just using the TV you got from Airbnb and you're just connecting to the Wi-Fi, but you can always buy an Ethernet cord from any store. A lot of these countries have or have more than what you think they have, and you can just connect directly to the routers or whatever connection you want. You just set it up very simply. Make sure you just locate where it's supposed to be inside your apartment or your Airbnb or hotel and just connect or just ask somebody. Ask somebody for help. <laughs> you know, your mouth still works. And it's very simple. It's just if you want a game, you just gotta do what you need to do to get connected and it's that simple it's not really a difficult to game outside of the country and a lot of people you know they may stress about the stuff like this like the inconveniences they may run into but this is very small and i don't think it's that bad you know you're a gamer on a computer you just bring your laptop with you if you have a game laptop and your controller you know have fun that way that's another thing you can do is connect to wi-fi move further to sleep with your stuff and just play where you want enjoy where you want i know a lot of guys who've been in the military in the past and they had no issue just playing their video games while traveling from country to country. So they, they probably will be able to relate to something like this. Yeah, I mean, that's 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 basically it. I'm also, you know, if you are living overseas and you are somebody who likes to play video games, you, know, you work as well if you're working overseas. You know, maybe you just work and you want to just have a little hobby to do on the side. You know, personally, a lot of people traveling from country to country don't really spend a lot of time playing video games, but if you are based somewhere, you know, there are, it does come to those times where you just want to focus, lock in, and every now and then you want to boot up the video games and just play. There's nothing wrong with that. It's very easy to manage your time in a different country. All you have to do is just settle down somewhere, maybe for a longer than just a month, and your schedule, will, you'll become more acclimated to your schedule and things will become so much more easier. Especially with like it's how you you know go into the gym, all the fun going to the gym, eating, you know, functioning, dating, all those things just become much easier because you're more living like a local and accustomed to where you're accustomed to where you're at, and it's much easier for you to just schedule your life and just be better in that aspect. So as far as just managing your time while you know having fun, gaming is including in that. You know, once you just I suggest you get based where you are at and uh, you can figure out where how your life is going to be from there on in that point. Like I said, internet, you can find it anywhere. Sometimes you might just have to connect to a different server. Sometimes you don't. If you have problems creating a gaming setup, just ask somebody. If you, need, if you want to play with strangers, there's many communities online. It's very simple. This is not that hard. It's not a hard thing to do. It's very simple to... You can play any, basically any video game available in the United States. is basically available in another country. They have servers created everywhere. These are multi-million to billion dollar companies creating video games, so almost available anywhere. Uh, if you want to play with your friends, it shouldn't be hard. Just connect to a VPN, remember that. Um, yeah, it's just simple. I really never had too much, too much struggles. Only time I had struggles was when I was getting my internet actually set up, personally. Just getting my internet set up, I guess they're a little bit slower, you know, doing it like a, a Comcast or Xfinity probably be at your house the next day the companies like here they, they're, they're usually at your house the next day every now and then you know it could be maybe one or two or three days which isn't the worst thing in the world do something you're out here in a different country live with some life a little bit it's not all about the video game but you did watch this video because you want to know what it's like and you know you can experience whatever you want to experience and yeah that's it for today I have a discord below if you want to join this is my digital roster group I want to create a community of people just interested in just living the life wherever they want to live and the way they want to live it. 
So I created a community called Digital Rasas. Follow me on Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. You got it. Peace.